Thanks for watching TechWiki. Click the subscribe button, then enable notifications with the bell icon so you won't miss any future videos. Sometimes it makes sense to skimp a little bit on a purchase to save a few bucks. A Whopper without cheese, a keyboard without RGB, or a hotel room without the love tub. And there's a breed of SSDs that's been hitting the market that uses a similar philosophy. I'm talking about SSDs without DRAM that are sold at a lower price point than most other models. Well, I mean, hold on a second, Linus. SSDs without onboard memory? That sounds fine. Why would an SSD need its own RAM? Well, here's the thing. Whenever your operating system wants to fetch something from your SSD, like a game you want to play or a business plan that you need to work on, it needs to know where that data is physically located on the drive. In order to know this, your SSD keeps a map of sorts that actively tracks where everything is. I mean, most people don't know this, but your SSD has to move your data around quite a bit so that you don't end up with a situation where some of its flash memory cells wear out faster than the others. It's a protective strategy called wear leveling. On most SSDs, this data map is kept on a DRAM chip because DRAM is much faster than the NAND flash that your SSD uses for data storage. In fact, you can experience this for yourself if you ever use your main system DRAM as a RAM disk, something you can learn more about here. Keeping the map on DRAM also results in better performance because its faster speed means that the OS won't have to wait as long for the SSD to locate the desired data. However, it is obviously possible to eliminate DRAM entirely and keep this mapping data either on the main flash memory itself or just copy it over to your system memory after you turn your computer on. And as we alluded to earlier, an SSD without DRAM tends to be cheaper than the one that has it. But cheap does not necessarily equate to good value. Though, if all you're looking for is better than a hard drive performance for the least possible amount of money, could that gas station sushi SSD be good enough? Well, as it turns out, Moving the data map off the DRAM cache creates some issues that are hard to ignore. Because it takes so long for the SSD to locate data, performance on DRAMless SSDs is usually noticeably slower than it is on mainstream SSDs, especially for random reads and writes, the small data operations that access different parts of the drive that, incidentally, make up the bulk of the average user's experience if they have their OS installed on the SSD. And with drives that use the NAND flash to store the data map, this has the added drawback of putting more wear on the drive than it would otherwise have. So it'll be slower, and then, adding insult to injury, it may actually die sooner. I mean, you might have noticed that the warranty for a DRAMless SSD is often shorter than for other drives. So if you're trying to save money on your next SSD purchase, use caution if you start looking at DRAMless SSDs. Find as many reviews as you can about the particular model you're looking at, and you know what? No, forget it. I'm actually not going to recommend any of them. It's better to find an inexpensive SSD with a DRAM cache. In most cases, you don't end up saving that much money anyway. And so the moral of the story here is sometimes trying to cheap out just isn't worth it. Though, with that said, I've heard that stocking up on store brand aluminum foil is a pretty good idea. And if you're the kind of person who stocks up on not just aluminum foil, but also computers, you might want to try out Synergy. Synergy solves once and for all the problem of having too many keyboards and mice on your desk. It's a software tool that lets you just share one keyboard and mouse across multiple systems, be they PC, Mac, or even Linux-based. You just configure where all the different screens are and the mouse cursor moves seamlessly between them. No more messing around. And it's even got great features like clipboard sharing, dragging and dropping between the computers, custom hotkeys, and more. It's available in basic and pro versions with the latter including SSL encryption to secure the data sent between the computers. Synergy is offering a 50% discount to TechWiki viewers, so just click the link in the video description below to check it out. 
So thanks for watching, guys. Like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment with video suggestions, and subscribe. Woo!